<laughs> I personally don't know of anyone who doesn't love lavender. Between their amazing scent and their medicinal values and how they attract the wonderful pollinators, there's much to love about lavender. And here's the amazing part. Once you have one lavender, you'll never have to buy lavender again. I started this entire hedge of lavender off of one little lavender plant that was at actually someone's home and I was able to take sprigs from that and propagate it and now I have an abundance of lavender. So in today's video, I'm showing you how you can propagate your own lavender so that you'll never have to buy it again. There are lots of different ways to propagate lavender and the great thing about lavender is it is so easy to propagate. So you can try many of these different methods and they will probably all work to a certain percentage. So here's a lavender sprig that I started from this plant here um, about a month ago and just check out that root system there. So a few things that you'll need. The first thing is a pair of good clippers. Um, I made sure that these were nice and clean so I don't have any disease issues. Though not necessary, rooting hormone can sometimes help speed up the process of rooting. I'm also today going to try, I've never done this before, um, but I'm gonna be trying Vermistera's Vitality. This here has natural plant hormones in it, so it can replace your rooting hormone, and it's more natural, and I've heard it's more effective, so I'm gonna give it a try today and compare it. So stay tuned for another video on how this worked. You'll also need a pencil as a dibbler or some sort of thing. I use a small container for the Vitality. You'll need a container. Um, now I just use this here and some people say you really need to add humidity to your lavender cuttings um, and that is helpful. And so um, I did not and they obviously did fine, but if you wanted, you could use um, a jug and tape this shut. This is like a form of winter sewing and you could put the cap on or leave it off and it'll create kind of this uh, greenhouse effect and help with the humidity. The mix I use here was recommended to me by um, some master gardeners. This is a mix of coconut core and perlite and that is it, it's a very sterile solution. You can also use just a basic seed starting solution. Try to use something that is sterile and doesn't have soil in it. The best time of year to take your lavender cuttings is in usually July and August. Some people can do it as early as June with success. Uh, these cuttings <laughs> these cuttings that I took were in June um, and you can do it when it's flowering. When selecting what plant you're going to use uh, for taking clippings off, try to find one that is healthy and vigorous and is fairly large. Today we're taking softwood cuttings, meaning that we're not going to be taking any of the wood part of the lavender. So right here you can see this is very obviously wood. And if I were to bend that, it would snap, it would break. This on the other hand is green. So this is a softwood and this is what we're going to be taking our cuttings from. But ideally we want to find one that is not bloomed yet. This time of year can be tricky to find softwood parts that are not blooming, but I tend to dig down, and this is a perfect example of one right here. It is softwood. It is not very big, but it is not blooming. And we're just gonna clip that. It's a perfect one. We moved out of the sun. It was getting really hot over there. I did get a few clippings, and I wish I could have shown you a little better how to find these. Um, you can see what these look like though. I'll, I'll show you a close up in a minute. Ideally, it's best to um, find ones that have not bloomed because a lot of the energy of the plant Mommy. of that um, sprig is going into Excuse blooming. Me. But I did find a few that were pretty young sprigs that have um, little buds on them. And so I'm gonna show you how you can still use uh, ones that have tiny sprigs. I just try to say, try to find one that is still very flexible where the stem that goes up to the flower is not really firm. With all of these, you want to be able to bend the cutting without it breaking. And that's how you know that this is a good soft wood cutting. Let me bring you up close and show you how this is done. I just did a bunch of these thinking I was filming and kind of find out it was not filming. So I went and got a few more. Here are examples of three different sprigs I could find that were not blooming. Sadly, I had the few that were blooming already and I clipped them without this videoing, but I, what I basically did was I took the bloom off. So this is what we're left with. Not ideal, but it still is somewhat flexible. So hopefully we can get this to root. So what I'm gonna do first is I, each of these has a little bit of the woody part on there when I was clipping it off. So I'm just gonna take that off here. There we go. And then with all of these, we're gonna be removing at least the two lower leaves. We want half, a third to half of the sprig clear for putting under the soil. Okay, so this is what we're left with. We're left with uh, about one to, one to two sets of leaves. And that's good. We need some leaves for the photosynthesis to take place. And I'm gonna be trying both of these products, the Rooting Hormone and Vitality. 
and I'm gonna be trialing them and see how they work. Before I put the rooting hormone on, I'm gonna be poking some holes in my medium because once I get the rooting hormone on, I would wanna keep it on there. And when you poke the, if I were to just try to poke these in, first of all, they're so flexible, they probably would bend and break, but I, it also would take off the rooting hormone and I don't want that. Poked a bunch of holes in here. It's okay to plant several lavender in a container because you'll be able to separate them at uh, the hi. end. Hi. hi. Okay, so this is going to be my rooting hormone trial. I like to tap a little bit. This goes, this stuff goes a long ways, people. Now that I have my rooting hormone in here, I'm gonna be tossing whatever is left of this because I don't want any pathogens that are on these to spread to other plants when I put it back in. So, and I'm just gonna do this all at once. It can help to moisten the tips a little bit to help the rooting hormone stick. And we're just gonna coat these really well tap off the excess because we don't need that much. Now you can see the tips here are all white. That's what we need. And now we're gonna stick them in, put the soil around it just enough. Try not to touch the tips as much as possible so that you don't get the rooting hormone off of there. And you're gonna plant it up to its set of leaves. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I pre-moistened this starter mix because I didn't wanna have to water these and displace them right away. All right, there's our first set. For this one, I'm gonna be trying Vitality, which by the way, this stuff is really amazing for everything else in your garden too. Rehabilitating plants, you name it. So I'm gonna be just kind of coating the bottom of these. That should do, and we'll try it out. I have taken many cuttings of lavender, and even with my experience of doing this, I still do not get 100%. So don't get discouraged if not all of your cuttings root. There you have it. These are our lavender cuttings that we are going to be bathing for the next bit. Basically, you're just going to mist them every few days. Unless they look dry, then you definitely mist them. Now I'm gonna be placing these in my home where the temperature is regulated. You can also try leaving them outside, but make sure wherever you place them, they are not in direct sun. So give these at least a month before you do the tug test where you kind of tug on them to see if there's any roots. And then at least probably wait a month and a half to two months before you take these out and you pot them into something bigger. These are some of the cuttings that I took a month ago that I'm going to be potting up now into larger pots. And I'm gonna wait till next spring before I plant these in the ground. If you've ever wanted to grow an abundance of lavender, I hope this video will help you get there. Thanks for watching today. Go out and grow something. God bless.